Hey everyone, let's talk about sewing essentials today um, because uh, I have a lot of them. Let me move some of these cords back right now because they were all in the video and I did not know it. But this one was going to stay in the video because I'm charging this up. Okay, first thing about sewing is that you must have certain things in order to sew. And if you run into a problem, if you don't have some of these things, you're going to wish you did. Okay. So as you can see, I have bobbins right here. So I have plenty of bobbins. And I also have some metal bobbins right here too. So I have the plastic one. I mainly use the plastic one. I don't really use these, but I'm going to use these one day. So let's put that to the side with the bobbins. Okay. And you must have yourself a good pair of... Do we call these shears or scissors in the sewing community? Because I'm like part of the art community. And also, you know, I love sewing. So I have two pair. This one right here is a pair of professional heavy duty cutting shears for fabric. And I absolutely love these. You hear, Can you hear that? How sharp they sound? They sound different from these. These are pretty good too, but these, these are pretty good. They're kind of stiff though, but these right here, watch your fingers, okay? So as you can see, I have the matching pin cushion right here. So I have two pair of scissors for my sewing needs. A pin cushion. I have several pins. I have these pins right here. And I have these with the little red balls on it. And I have the ones with the heart on it. Uh, something else on there. The hearts on it. Um, yeah. And I don't have it. I, I don't know what happened to all of my heart ones. I had more than this. Now this is a magnetic tray to, uh, so that your pins won't fall off and get lost or something. So this tray is awesome too to have for sewing. Alright, next you're going to need yourself some seam rippers. Uh, these are in the pack because uh, the ones that are in the pack are, is new and here's the one that I'm using right now it's out of the pack so let me put this back in so I got a pack of them and you need seam rippers in case you make a mistake so that's that I'm not going to put this back in the pack because it's the one I'm using this is in a ziplock bag need safety pins. You need safety pins because you never know when you might have to pin something, uh, not pin something up, but close something up that you want to have closed until you get around to it. So yeah, so you need those. You need some tiny scissors for um, doing small chores, small tasks. You need a rotary blade for easy cutting. I'm going to show you the new ones because I do have, uh, I have two that I'm using, but I'll just show you the new ones. These are two items that you can use whenever you're sewing. One is fray check, and the fray check is used for the fraying of fabric, and you had a liquid stitch, and this can be used for hems or anything like that that you would like to use that for and you know like if you didn't feel like sewing something you could just put that on there okay next i don't know the correct name for this but i use this to uh feed the elastic through uh for my scrunchies and you can use this for anything that you uh have uh, elastic for like a skirt or maybe pants you know you have an elastic uh, waistband on them so you can use this to feed the elastic through and it'll make your job easier you need a thimble 
thimbles have been out for a very long time, so you need a thimble. So that's that. Okay, right here I have a box of Taylor's chalk. Um, you can uh, use this to help for markings on your fabric. It's just chalk, you guys. Literally, like, it's not regular kid chalk. So they're like this. You just take it and mark your fabric. You put that back in this slot. Okay, I'm going to talk about this thing, this thing that's on the table that I told you I was charging up. Alright, this right here is a bobbin winder. And what you do is put your bobbin on here and you can wind your bobbins without having, you can wind a lot of them at one time without uh, removing the thread from your sewing machine to do it. Do you have to remove your thread from the sewing machine? You know, you know what I'm saying. You don't have to do it on your sewing machine. You can do it on here, like all of these. I'm gonna fill all of these up with thread. That's why I'm charging it up because I was using it already off the charger because it does have a battery too. I see one of my heart pins under there. Okay, so that uh, takes care of that. All right, right here in this tin, these are some clips. I absolutely love these clips. Um, let's open that up. These are some clips to, uh, if you don't want to use pins, uh, you can use these clips to hold your fabric together. Very nice. All right, let's talk about some things um, like... these items right here so you can use this to iron curves um, uh, on your fabric and stuff so I got me a pack of two of these so um, I could uh, do like the curve like the shoulders um, whatever curvy part of uh, uh, a garment that you're making all right so you need elastic. If you're going to be sewing anything that requires elastic, you, I have several sizes of elastic. So this is the one that I'm showing you now. But you need yourself some elastic. All right, I just got these two items. I'm just going to leave them in a the pack. What this is is elastic thread. So. Uh, elastic thread is used for the ruching, you know, the gathered up look uh, on a garment. And it's normally at the top um, of a garment or on the wrist part or the sleeve. Uh, it's, it, it just makes your garments, uh, you know, extra nice. So this is what this is, elastic thread. Alright, I have a couple of uh, items that are in cans and bigger... Um, bottles. So this is a fabric fusion. And you use that to hem or whatever you're going to use that for. And this is a basting adhesive. So it's great for sewing, quilting, embroidery, and pattern piercing. So it's a temporary bond. This one is a temporary bond and this is a permanent bond. So if you want to do a something that you want to be permanent you don't want it to move use this one and use this one because this is just a basting adhesive so use this one if you want it to be temporary all right next we're going to show you some rulers that i have all right first of all this one is very flimsy so I like this that it's very flexible. So this one goes up to 16 inches. Let me move the box over. This one goes up to 16 inches. Really love this ruler because of the flexibility. All right, this ruler right here is my acrylic ruler. And I really love this ruler because you can see through it. You can see 
uh, what you're doing right through the ruler. And this one goes up to 16, no, 17 inches. This one goes to 17 and the other one goes up to 16. All right, next I have a ruler that goes up to, I got this from Hobby Lobby. And this one goes up to 36 inches. I hope they don't be upside down. It goes up to 36 inches. <laughs> All right, 36 inches. It is super long. And look, it's so pretty on the other side. Let's do it from the front. So it's at the top. It has the needle and the buttons. And it says B. So spool of thread. Bold. And then it has the dress form at the bottom. I thought this ruler was so cute when I saw it. So I had to add it to my collection. So I had this for a while too. Okay, cord in the video again. <laughs> All right, so that was my phone that hit the floor. All right, so this is my sewing essentials video things that you need if you're going to be sewing and uh, things that I can't live without. So, um, I have a few more things uh, like tracing paper and let me see the tracing paper. Um, I use this tracing paper right here to make uh, patterns with so that's that and you know I have a lot of things that I could show you but I can't fit everything on this table to show you so this is basically the basic things that you will need if you want to start sewing besides your sewing machine sewing machine of course sorry about that tongue tie so besides the sewing machine these are the things you're going to need all right talk to you guys in the next video bye